And we're back with Richard Reviews. Today we're reviewing a book for richardreviews.com slash Griffin Chestnut here on YouTube. Uh, Griffin Chestnut is Richard's online YouTube alias, which you can find all of Richard's reviews based on Panasonic Electronics and, of course, books. Today's book that Richard will be reviewing for us is titled Stuff Matters by Mark Minonick. Uh, this is the book exploring the marvelous materials that shape our man-made world. Uh, this is a New York Times bestseller, and it is a thrilling account of the modern material world, said by Wall Street Journal. So this book uh, was brought to Richard's attention in the year 2014, after he was working in the forest uh, for an easier time to conquer and prosper the iron-rich grounds of the Appalachian uh, area. Richard is a New York native uh, who gained a complete mastery of the woods and um, of the ultimate uh, nature identities that was formed through the uh, Connie spirits of destruction and disharmony. Richard is a huge fan of Studio Ghibli uh, films such as Princess Mamanoke and uh, the Studio Jaya, uh, which brought uh, timeless classics such as The Eternal Dinosaur and The Bioelectrical Avenue found in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Richard has a uh, long-standing relationship with the Japanese culture, which he finds to be uh, drained and uh, dark spirits will arise from the floor and set loose into the Kiriko village, which is why he has such an interest in the um, deity that is an unsettled dispute, uh, where living things become ghosts. So that is how he piqued his knowledge into this. This is Richard's piece, so we're going to make sure we, we cover all the dimensions and we follow up on the three nipple-to-nipple -nipple guided ratio that we uh, rate here for Richard. So this piece is um, it's an authentic piece from Richard, which is kept in very good condition. Um, stuff matters. And you can tell right off the bat that the dimensions are clear as they should be. Clear dimensions on both sides give a, a, a permanent notion to the Stuff Matters uh, ecological uh, technology which manifests this physical uh, physique. Um, in an elemental medallion, uh, Richard would, uh, would have completed this in no less than one month's time. Light, forest, fire, water, shadow, and spirit are all represented in this piece with a, a powerful punch that ultimately shows the information that can be purified into such beings as a natural tree with clear water. As for the piece at all, Richard gives this piece two thumbs up. He appreciates the, uh, the, um, the materials that are um, subdued in such a, a, a realm where the dead desire, and uh, he does acknowledge the fact that this piece uh, is going up against large uh, quantum mechanics in terms of finding an appropriate pollution where there's a beacon of hope at the end of the light. The climax of this story brings it up to a typical top-notch scenario where you're going to be sent to a certain Yomi, and the Yomi being a thoughtful pace, a little slower than Richard would intended, but the first sorrow in essence of the message is always about nature, and that's ultimately the importance of striking harmony in a world such as polluted as ours. Uh, Richard did not respect it, and we're surely able to be consumed by greed as one of the uh, seven deadly sins. Um, which is fine, uh, you can see is a, a natural being that which he can't even get a grasp on. With that being said, let's take a look at the piece. Um, it is in great condition. It is a soft cover, so it's got really good bend. Great bend. Um, it's got good quality, good quality material on the top. It's almost got that, that brim, that brim texture that is, uh, a reference to other stories <coughs> up in the corner good brim texture and it's got great shine along the middle you can see the shine very well done and the bottom cream 
good cream on the bottom, good cream on the side, nice and nice and neat, even this side. Now this was marked with a staple magic marker by some fairy boy, unfortunately, and um, this assessment was referenced in Richard's uh, notes on this, which you can find in his blog in the description down below. And on the side we have Mark Middlewick, Stuff Matters, and the Colossal Printing Company uh, emblem. Now on the back we have, of course, more praise for the novel itself. Uh, the New York Times Notable Book of 2014, winner of the Royal Society Wilton Prize for Science Books. And uh, more praise uh, generally giving the promise to all those years that um, the author has put into such a ambitious work following his inward journey inside. Uh, you can see the actual author himself. There is a picture of Mark Middlewick. Uh, he is, looks like he's looking at some sort of material himself and he is um, pretty amazed. Uh, why he's amazed, Richard doesn't know. Um, he knows that he's amazed through what, why you can see through glass, um, what looks how a foothold between the two. If threads are one, then I guess it requires an examination, which is what he's doing. Um, these are the children that uh, he's speaking about in the piece. And uh, it goes to further that they claim their father, which uh, can be found in the story in this piece, where they go through different dialectic pictures. We also get a price down here in the bottom right hand corner. Um, it's John Ritter's Science, and we have $15.95, which is an appropriate price uh, since it's under $20, and it's stated that it's higher in Canada. So let's take a look inside here. Uh, this is your simple piece right here, Stuff Matters, that we're going to get into. He's very um, articulate in his pages, where he's able to uh, give a substantial um, companion right off the bat from uh, any type of physical representation that uh, you can get from this foothold. And um, he references the same picture momentarily through different uh, symbolisms of uh, chaotic nature which uh, can be a good thing because it leaves the uh, reader to a um, to a certain standstill where he's not as much obligated to find uh, any transformations uh, in faces and future temples against any stump. Um, so there is a lot of uh, dialogue going on, but uh, nothing uh, that the amateur can't handle himself, which will come at a, 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 a fast stephos. Uh, in Richard's words. So the price and the total page count we have is 239. So we're going to round this off at a top notch at 919. Okay, so that is a phenomenal piece by Mark Middlewick, Stuff Matters, and this is Richard Reviews.